Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading. It will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Scorpio and pull your overarching energy or message for the next month or two in love, romance, relationships only. So what do we have please Angel Spirits Guides for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Okay, so Scorpio, I have the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, achievement, personal recognition. Okay. Let's pull some cards. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guide, message for Scorpio, thank you. What do we have for Scorpio, please, in love, romance, relationships? March to April 2021, thank you. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Message for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guide. In love, romance, relationships, what do we have? Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Scorpio, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what do we have? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio? Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio in terms of love, romance, relationships, March to April 2021? Thank you. King of Wands. So we have the World card. That is the advice from Spirit. And the Nine of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, Scorpio. There is definitely an energy here with the Six of Wands of some kind of victory achievement and it generally comes after some kind of challenge. And I'm definitely getting this energy here, Scorpio, of... <laughs> if, if I'm going to... Let's clarify what this Nine of Swords is. Let's clarify what this Nine of Swords is. Let's clarify what this Nine of Swords is, please. Let's clarify the Moon. And I'm just going to clarify these Six of Wands. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Love, Romance, Relationships with Scorpio, please. March to April 2021. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Queen of Coins. I'm, I'm getting this energy, Scorpio. I mean, there is a strong commercial energy with this that's affected your romantic relationship. So some of you could have been affected in terms of... Um, money, career changes, you know, because there's definitely an energy of delayed opportunity here. So for some of you, it, it feels that you've experienced some stress, anxiety, worry as a result of career changes. Um, 
and I was definitely getting that quite strongly, which, I mean, it is a love romance relationship reading, but at the end of the day, you know, it, money and career is one of the pillars of, you know, our conscious reality, along with foundational relationships, health, home, and so on. So, you know, each affects the other in different ways. And when one of those pillars goes wrong, it can really affect the others in a quite a detrimental way. And I'm definitely getting this energy that you have been affected in terms of, in terms of, and it feels as a, as a couple. I'm definitely getting this energy as a couple in terms of money, career, finances. So, you know, uh, it won't be for everybody, but I'm definitely getting that energy. I mean, the cards will say what they want to say. You're going to claim the victory, so the success is definitely coming. And that's beautiful, and it's by your drive, your, your ability, your I will to succeed and overcome that which really challenges you. And you will overcome a significant challenge and put it behind you. And you'll be standing victorious like that man on the balcony, you know. And I'm sure there are a lot of, there's a massive crowd below here, you know, cheering this person's achievement. And it definitely feels like that's what's happening in the home, the family, the relationship. Someone will cheer this achievement for you. Because I, I'm definitely getting this energy of this has caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. And I feel it's to do with money and career. And that's absolutely what I'm feeling. So, yeah, the Queen of Coins is an abundant energy. She can be somebody offering you, um, can be in terms of offers, opportunities. But it feels in this energy, this Queen of Coins is recognizing this achievement too. I mean, she is also a sign of material success. So I definitely see a couple here, King and Queen of Pentacles. And it feels that you, as a couple, you have, you, you were very secure in terms of money, career, finances. I mean, there's an element of material success between these two energies. There's also an element of, um, Yeah, there's also an element of just knowing your worth, knowing what you're capable of, you know. Um, but she is a card of success, material success, uh, providing, feeling the opportunity to provide for her family, contribute to the, you know, to the commercial side of providing for family home, material needs and so on. Uh, she can also be a working parent, so certainly considering family, children, and so on and so forth. It feels for some of you that there is a significant victory as a result of that. And some of you might be identifying with what this is bringing into you. And I'm definitely getting that strong energy here, Scorpio, I have to say. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands, please, for Scorpio. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Yeah, you see? So the Four of Pentacles can be being careful with money. Um, it can also be about wanting to bring in financial stability and security into your life. And for some of you, there's an opportunity here. I mean, the King of Wands can be a leader. So somebody who you are connected to, somebody who you might have been speaking to. I mean, this can be a leader energy. Um, somebody who is a go-getter, a visionary. Um, somebody who takes the lead in their power, you know, that kind of energy. If this is you, Scorpio, there's a feeling of, of, of you've been putting your energy and effort towards bringing some kind of opportunity in, but you may have experienced delays. I mean, there's an energy of time here, you know, bide your time, needing to bide your time. Um, certainly the Knight of Wands can be about some kind of exciting opportunity that brings positive change and growth into your life, some shift, some movement. Um, it feels that you've been trying to, but it feels like this opportunity is linked with this King of Wands. They both hold the wand energy and 
is because there's been a, a need to be careful financially. So, you know, I'm definitely getting this energy of finances affecting your relationship. And maybe there's some, been some delays or setbacks that you've experienced where you haven't had the shift that was needed, you know. But there's definitely an energy here of you are absolutely being guided. Trust. You are being guided. The moon energy, surrender, trust, the universe. Um, the energy of everything is going to work out okay. This is a card of stress, worry, anxiety. You have a reason to feel this way. A lot of stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. But, you know, that blanket here is saying that you're being protected by the universe. You are being absolutely protected and held, even though you don't see it, even though your wildest fears are probably coming in the dead of night. You know, this is like fear. This is an energy of wildest fears, uncontrollable fears. And your mind can really blow out of proportion if you're not careful. Um, this is when, yeah, there's a, this is based on fact, but the mind just escalates it to the point where it distorts the reality. So there's always a need to kind of like just surrender. You're being watched over. This is a card of hidden blessings and trusting your intuition. You're absolutely being guided, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does. And what is the universe telling you? You're going to get the success. You're going to get the goal. What you've been striving towards, this period of anxiety is going to end, and it's going to end triumphantly. This is worldly success. This is achievement through hard work and overcoming tests and challenges and claiming a victory. So there's definitely this energy here, Scorpio, of, yeah, there has been some financial challenge here. I'm definitely getting this energy. It feels like the opportunity hasn't been coming quickly enough for you, but it will end. It will finish and it will finish victoriously. So just trust that you are absolutely being guided and held here because this is the card of success, abundance, you know, and this is empowering energy, being empowered once more. Somebody who has worked so hard to claim those nine pentacles. And the nine of pentacles is a personal achievement. It generally represents, even though you're in a relationship, it's your individual journey of achievement. The nine of pentacles. You have made this happen by hard work, and um, by perseverance, by patience, absolutely but you have made this happen. So there's definitely this energy of bringing stability and security back in a relationship. Again, the King of Pentacles, you know, it, you know, it just, I mean, the King of Pentacles is somebody who understands how to manifest money, you know, very, not dissimilar to the Queen of Pentacles, um, but the King of Pentacles is fully aware of his self-worth and how to bring achievement into his life. It, you know, the king, again, these signs of abundance, these signs of material success, these signs of bringing back stability and security back into your life. And what are they doing for you? What is your other half doing? They're cheering, there's celebration, there's joy. You, by your own efforts, are creating that rainbow of blessings once more. And I'm definitely, remember, this is a card of hard work, hard work the result of hard work, the result of productivity in particular. Um, that's why it's called the card of perpetual happiness because it is when two people, they work so well together, they complement each other perfectly, they support the other person when the other person is feeling that lack. You know, you know, one steps in to, to, to support the other. And I definitely get this energy for you, Scorpio, that you are claiming this rainbow of blessings. This is also an achievement card as well. It's a card of success um, because of the hard work. But I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody is just cheering you on. Yeah. Let's pull one more card for this. 
Let's pull one more card for the Six of Wands and the Queen of Coins. Let's pull one more card for Scorpio, please. Six of Wands, Queen of Coins. Yeah. The wish coming true. Goal achievement. A reason to be thankful. This this is like back, uh, is it? Oh, I can't remember what you call him, Dionysus or um, Bacchus or whatever you call him. Uh, you know, the, the god of, of celebration, good food, good drink, um, bountifulness, you know, sharing those cups with other people in terms of celebration. It's celebratory energy. They're cheering you on. There is a celebratory energy. I feel for some of you, someone is cheering you on, is, is cheering, is, is applauding your achievement. And it feels beautiful, Scorpio. So kind of a bit of a different reading, but the cards are what they are. Meant for somebody. <laughs> okay, so what do we have as a final message for Scorpio, please? Final message for Scorpio. Yeah, we have Spider Dreamweaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Yeah. This is about, don't lose sight of those dreams. This is a dream energy, getting the dream. This is somebody getting the dream, getting the wish. Um, so, and again, this is dream energy. You know, it's 12th house energy. So don't lose sight of that dream. It's the house of spirit. It's a card of alignment, aligning you to your dreams. Okay. Any other message? Thank you. Yeah, we have hedgehog, acceptance, embrace who you are. Yeah, very nice energy, Scorpio. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.